Hello everybody. It's been a while. Um, it's been officially a year since I moved to LA and I'm loving it. Uh, yeah, I can't believe a year has already flown by. It's 2023 and I'm actually a month late to even having my full anniversary video to send to you because I've been really busy. Um, so as you can see, actually, this is the commission that I've been working on. Um, I, one of my collectors who have purchased one of my original pieces, he had a friend come over and was like, I want one. And he came over and we decided to do a commission. And so I've been working on it for the last few months and I'm pretty stoked about it. I actually just finished it this morning and yeah. So you're kind of looking at it for the first time with me in a lot of ways. Um, but uh, he, the collector came by today, he saw it, he loves it, and I'm going to be installing it here in a few weeks. And hopefully I'm going to have one of my friends uh, help me install it because this thing's kind of a beast. But theoretically the whole thing just hangs on its own. So um, just on the three handholds if you can see it in the video. Um, but in order to make this piece I actually have two new tools. Um, they were gifts from Christmas, and so one of them is this, it's called like a telescopic metal bender. You use this arm that goes between like three different cylinders and you're able to bend the metal. And this allows me to bend up to 5 8 inch thick, which that piece on the wall is using half inch thick rod. So that's been very exciting, and then I have this tube roller. It's not in here, but it has like a big like steering wheel, like a ship or something. And you use that and you're able to bend really nice subtle curves instead of like hard curves like this one. Um, so I got those two tools um, thanks to Christmas presents from uh, my grandfather, uh, my dad, and also my mom's uh, boyfriend, son. So thank you all so much for the gifts. And so that allowed me to be able to make this commission. Um, but yeah. So since I talked to you last, I spent the holidays uh, in DC to see my mom and my brother, and also went to Illinois to see my grandparents with my dad and my brother as well, and saw my aunts as well. And uh, yeah, that was really nice. Uh, and then I came back and things have changed. A lot, is, a lot has been going on over here actually. <laughs> so one big update is that uh, I no longer work at Art Space Warehouse, the gallery. Basically, when I came back from a wedding last October, uh, I just was really feeling a lot of ennui, a lot of like purposelessness and like not really understanding why I had to spend so much time at a job that I wasn't using any of my gifts at when I could be in this room where my gifts are thriving and flourishing and exploding it was just really it was really tough to go to work uh five days a week um and know that i could be flourishing in another spot so basically uh over the last few months i was talking to my brother's old roommate from seminary his name's phil and he runs a church down here called La Plaza UMC, which is a United Methodist Church, and they're downtown, and he said they needed someone to lead music. And I was like, yeah, definitely interested, and, you know, keep me posted, and he's like, you know, we can't pay you too much, but we could offer you free rent. And my ears perked up, and I was like, hell yeah, that sounds amazing. <laughs> and in LA, that's like a promotion, having free rent. And so I saw the parsonage, I sang one time at their church to kind of get a feel for it and i was like sign me up and so starting january 1st of this year i am officially leading music at la plaza umc and i'm getting free rent now at highland park or, or sorry i'm getting to live in highland park which is where their parsonage is uh, and I'm now roommates with my brother's old roommate, Phil, uh, and he's really great. So this job's been really great. It, it is able to utilize my gifts of community and relationships being the focus, while also my gifts of music 
being able to prepare for that every week has been a little stressful, but also really good. This church is really fun and interesting for lots of reasons, but one of them is that it's 100% Mexican and Salvadorian congregation. And so half the congregation speaks Spanish, half of it speaks English, and throughout that spectrum there are bilingual people too. And so I am learning how to do music both in English and Spanish, but they also like traditional music, so I've been learning how to do piano as well as guitar. And so we're kind of balancing a lot of different things <laughs> when I do music, but it's been really fun. And I'm really enjoying the community, making some new friends, and yeah. And ultimately, it allowed me to be able to do this more. So because of that job, I was able to quit my job at the gallery. Um, which I was very grateful. They let me work part-time for the last few months to help train somebody. I was open to part-time with them moving forward, but they decided it wouldn't make any sense for them for me to work part-time. They really just like having full-time people. So, now I'm just a full-time artist, at least for a few months. Um, with this gig and also having free rent, it's like really allowing me time in the studio, which has allowed me to finish this commission, and I have some other upcoming projects that I'm excited to tell you about too. Um, but yeah, I'm just like really loving 2023 so far. <laughs> and along with that, uh, my girlfriend Emma and I have been making some new friends, which are very cool. Uh, we we are jokingly calling ourselves the Artist Leaders of Tomorrow. Uh, the acronym is a lot. And we're kind of starting to live into that. We're trying to really think like, what is the art world we want to live in? And how can we manifest that now and looking into tomorrow, you know? And so that's been really fun, making some new friends. And I had a game night with some friends, my co old coworkers this last weekend, it was so much fun. Um, for, for Aunt Bonnie and the cousins, we played the funnest game in the universe, which is a total hit. So if you want to know more about that game, let me know. It's really fun. Um, yeah, so new friends, that's been great. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, my creative partner Elle, who I collaborate with a lot up in Seattle, we've been meeting weekly again, and I'm getting really excited about what we're working on, um, but it's still kind of under wraps. Uh, we're still brainstorming, but it's been really good working with her again, and I'm really excited to see where that goes um, because I think it's going to be really big and I'm not just saying that. <laughs> yeah, so upcoming things that I'm really excited about. I'm about to head out for a wedding. Uh, my best friend Caleb's getting married and I'm in the bridal party. Um, I'll be giving a toast on Friday which will be really fun but most of all I'm just excited to celebrate the love of Caleb and Amanda. Um, it's been really beautiful watching them grow together and just watch Caleb grow um, as, as a man too through this process. So, so excited for that. And then on the tail end of that, I'm also going to be hanging out with my dad and my brother. And then in March, my friend Lucy, Dancing Lucy, we're going to be doing a collaboration at Mini Mart City Park, which is this gallery up in Seattle. And we're going to be actually using these, uh, here, I'll, I'll grab one for you really quick. Uh, these metal pieces were actually a part of my thesis work, but now they are rusted and I'm, I've sprayed them down with some coat, uh, spray clear coat, so now they can be maneuvered really easily. And they're gonna be dancing partners for Lucy and uh, her other collaborator, Erica. So, anyways, that's really exciting, and then I'm hopefully going to go to another wedding in May uh, to celebrate my mom's 60th birthday, too, but that's uh, still TBD. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, I'm very excited. Things are going well. Um, yeah, I was, I was hoping to not have to work at the gallery for longer than a year. I was like, a year max. Because I knew pretty early on it wasn't going to be my forever job, and I did it. I don't have to work there anymore. 
Um, but I'm hoping to let this be a time to take off as an artist. And if I have to land and find another gig, another part-time gig or something in the future, I'm fine by that. But for now, I'm just gonna soar or try to. And uh, yeah, I'm just really thankful for all of you, for your support, for listening, um, for sharing your lives with me as well. Uh, I just always want my work to be collaborative, even if that means I make it here and it gets to be shared and that makes you want to share things with me or I bring other people in or I'm invited to do other things with other people. Um, to, to name an inspiration of mine, Phoebe Bridgers, she's a musician. She's like the biggest, she collaborates with everybody and I just really love that she does that. And it really has this whole idea that we can all go together forward. And I really want to live that out. So given that it's the year, word of the year for my family, generosity. I hope to be generous with my time and my gifts and my money. And I hope that we can all do that together too and continue to share the love of art, the love of one another. Yeah, love you. And I'll see you later.